Joe, I think we can put that down as a very accomplished performance from your team. Very professional, very much deserved, uh, wonderful shape at, without the ball, um, real threat when we got the ball, a couple of changes and tweaks we had to make, but that's okay. We, we've got players that can adapt to it. We, we can do it as much as we want as a staff, but at the moment we've got players that are very adaptable. Everyone playing their part, real team effort, staff, players, fantastic support come away at St Albans as well. So a really another really, really good day for Bath City Football Club. Two goals in the first half, like the Eastbourne game, really, a penalty from Scott Wilson, which uh, took well, considering their keeper had saved the last two, and then an own goal, and both created by Ewan Clark. Yeah, first Tom Smith from midfield, so he's broke, he's broke from midfield really deep. And that was our game plan. We're a very good counter-attack team at the moment, but we, we lock on in the middle of the pitch. We don't go deep into low blocks. We set, set little traps, and it's important then we got the patterns there after that to go and hurt them. And um, we've got players that can take the ball up the pitch really good in 1v1 situations and um, that's where the penalties come from and I thought I mean Scotty again was excellent another another really really good penalty unsavable and then the delivery <laughs> uh, and that's what I guess what we got with these players we, we work a lot on set pieces and that's something those boys just decided to do there and then so I love seeing that a bit of creativity from Jordan and from young Ewan and um, we get an own goal we got a goal from it but Really, we should have scored another two or three after that. I thought we were excellent. I thought we got ourselves in really good positions, limited them to not a lot. But when, when they did get in around us, because teams, we said this before, teams will have their moments. I thought our defending was, was immense. I thought blocks really narrow in the 18-yard box, coming out, engaging. Um, Ollie's not had a lot to do, really, just some bits and bobs. The only time when they did hurt us might have been some little mistakes from us, i.e. throwing, giving a throw in away. But, but I have to be pleased coming to a place like this, a really tough place to come, as we know clean sheet, two goals again, and, um, and we just keep our momentum going. And again, I will say to you, it's just another National League South game, another really strong performance, but a really good feel about the group. Yeah, you rightly mentioned the strong defensive unit. I thought just in front of them, I thought Luke Grass was outstanding today. He really Brilliant. gets in the way and frustrates opposition players so often. Yeah, he does deserve a mention because I thought he was outstanding on Saturday as well, I've got to say that. So, And today, brilliant. One, he's, he's cleared off the line, which is like a thunderbolt going in there. So he puts himself in the right areas. We knew what we needed in the summer. I think we went and got it. I think in all those areas, I thought we, I think we'd gone and got it. But we won't get carried away. We know, um, we know this is a funny old league and a tough league. And uh, we don't proclaim to have it cracked, but what we have got is, um, is a good group at the moment who feel really, really, really good about themselves. I said the main thing going into this game was work hard, stick to a game plan and enjoy yourselves. And if you look at our group at the moment, they're out on their feet after every game. They've stuck to a game plan because they have to and they, that otherwise we concede. And they've all got smiles on their faces. And um, that's so important, honestly. We're in this game because we want to enjoy it. Sometimes negativity gets thrown around in football, but in the end, it's a game and it's an entertainment business. You want to enjoy it. Hopefully our fans have enjoyed it today. I would have thought so. Um, we certainly enjoy it as a group as well. And all we'll do now is regroup and look forward to a really tough game back at Twerton Park, where I'm sure we'll get a nice big crowd in. Um, but like I say, everyone's played their part. You know, I've, I've made some big calls again today, changed the side, um, but they all understand it. That's massively important. There's no sulking. People come off the bench and have massive reactions to being on the bench and they want to win for the team. And that's what we've got at the moment. Start, sorry, you've ended August the same as last year, same points return, and now we start September against a Haven to Waterlooville team buoyed by a win over Yeovil today and a dramatic conclusion. A bit of change around behind the scenes there, and uh, mm. they're often tough opponents of our city. They are tough, tough games. Um, <clears throat> you know, full time outfit, train every day. That, that, that does have an advantage, obviously. Um, yeah, we won't underestimate anyone they might because there's no easy game in this league. We've said it we've said it so long in my tenure here and again I think the league's got stronger. So um, what's important for us is that we go into every game being hard to beat. And I think that's the change in us. We look we look solid and we look difficult to break down. And everyone's working so hard at that from the goalkeeper right the way through to all the subs, to us as a staff. We're all working so hard to be solid. But what we have got then is people who can go and hurt teams and um, at the moment it's um, it feels good. But again, we're only six games, aren't we? So it's, um, it's time to um, enjoy it tonight. It's Sarah's, our sports therapist, her birthday today. So I wanted to win for her on the coach on the way up. We, we spoke about it. She's got some cake for us on the way back. We're going to have a drink in the bar and celebrate for her. Another important member of the team. Lee's not here today because his daughter got married on the weekend. So we want to say a massive congratulations to his daughter. And a new husband, and also he's just become a, a granddad again. So his other daughters had a baby. So lots of things to celebrate, and we send our best wishes to all them. And um, 
Dean's away on holiday in Turkey, so he'll enjoy that when he'll have a beer for us as well. So, listen, we, we do it because we love it and we enjoy it. It's important to put smiles on faces, but we know it's hard work, back to hard work, and um, we'll give the boys a few days off, and then we'll come back in Thursday and regroup. Yeah, another brilliant bank holiday weekend comes to an end, and uh, well done for the three points today. Cheers, thanks, Mark. Cheers, Mark. Uh,